Hi and welcome back. Um, today uh, I want to configure um, soft ether VPN server on Windows 2008. So um, right here I have this machine. This is the server that I'm gonna install soft ether. Uh, it has a public IP and I'm connecting right there using the Microsoft RDB. So I can go to Soft Ether VBN Server, download. Uh, I'm gonna install uh, the package for the Windows Server 2008. So I go to softetherdownload.com. This is the main or the formal page for the soft ether project I'm gonna check the VBN server for Windows and right there I'm gonna ch choose the Windows so I'm gonna install soft ether VBN server in Windows uh, then you have to double check that you are using the right distribution. I guess it's 64 bit, but let me check again. And the properties, then I have 64 bit. So I scroll back and choose 64 bit. As you see down, we have to, uh, we have many distribution as we see. Uh, we have the beta version uh, 4.21 and here we have 4.20 but for me I would like always to use this stable version so that I'm gonna install this this one So I see the package being installed. All right. So I run the app. Next, so I'm here. I choose the VPN server. Next, next, next. Uh, this is the default directory. I will keep it to the default. Next, next. Alright, the packages were installed. I'm gonna run. So, as you see, after uh, the package installed, as you see, there is an icon for the VBN manager. Right? So, I know I have installed the VBN server, but this option is gonna install another package for the server manager. As you see, this is the icon. I'm gonna open up. This is the um, uh, the local host connection, so I have VBN server manager installed on the same server. So I'm gonna choose right here uh, the local host as my um, IP that I'm gonna configure, right? So I connect. As you see, there is no default password, and it asks me to install or set up a password for that server. So I'm gonna configure my password. And now um, inside the VBN, I'm gonna 
cancel all of the prompts. So what we have right now, we have a server, and this is the manager tool. Uh, by default, there is a virtual hub that's called default, and this hub um, it handles the default settings uh, for this connection. So right now, I'm I'm gonna test a connection using IBSec L2TB right here. Uh, first of all, I want to check to enable the PSK this is the PSK of L2TB IBSEC connection ok yes uh, pretty sure it has 10 or more letters do you want to Alright, said so there is uh, common known bugs in some version of Android, so uh, I'm gonna use less characters in this PSK. Uh, as we see, this is the default hub, and inside that virtual hub, I can manage and add some users for testing. I can say send on tutorial. And the same okay, copy paste. So I have just created the username seldom dot, the same for the password seldom dot. Gonna OK. Then there is something important because as we see. Uh, once the user is connected to my VBN server, it's gonna have a private IP. So I wanna tell SoftEther that it net the private IP into the server public IP. So here's the server public IP that I have right now: 173, 164, 168, 132. So I will inform the SoftEther to do that net when the user is connected. So I go to virtual net. And I'm gonna enable the secure net. Right? Once I do that, I can check. This is the private IP that's gonna be distributed to the end user clients when they connect to my VBN server. This is their, their default gateway, and this is the other the uh, the pool range for the users. I'm gonna say okay, exit, exit. And right now we have the service is up and running. So this is just for an, in a nutshell. So we can just use the L2TB setting right here. So I will go to my network. Network settings. I go plus and change a new VBN connection. I'm gonna change L2TB over IBSEC. I'm gonna create so here is the server address I will copy my account name so the tutorials and same thing for the authentication and the same thing for the pre-shared key. Okay, I'm gonna connect. All right, it's connected. As you see, this is my private IP address that I pick up from the server one nine two one six eight thirty dot ten. Right, this is the IP that I just configured right here. And the virtual hub, and I go to the secure net. This is the first IP in the pool. Uh, I haven't checked the internet yet, so let me ping Google. All right, I have also internet connectivity.
Uh, but you know, I am not using I'm not using the, the VBN yet. Yes, I have just connected to the to the VBN, but I'm not using it for the uh, for the internet for, for for the browsing or the ping on my side. So I think that I have what I have forgotten something in the settings. Um, you know, I go to the advanced and I'm gonna check this option so that I be able to route all of my traffic in my PC to the internet and be able to use my VPN. So I'm gonna apply. I'm gonna disconnect and connect again. I you see, I think the ping has more time out, and I think that this is just an indication that the VPN is routed over the server. Just do press route. You know what, I would like to check my IP address, it should be matching the VPN server that I have, which is right here. As you see, this is my IP address, and it is matching the VPN server. I also can have something for logs, as you see, this is one sessions, one client sessions, and there is one users. Uh, I can check something with connections right here. This is me, I'm managing the connection. Uh, what else? If I go here, I can see the users. And this is the number of plugins too that I tried. Mm, what else we can verify? Yeah, we can verify the sessions. As you see, this is the session for the secure NAT, right? This is uh, this is my connection that I have right now, so it's counted as a session. And uh, the soft ether manager logs. So this is an old shell for uh, IPsec. By the way, there are many types. <clears throat> we have the open VPN. We have uh, uh, MS, MS, Microsoft, SSTB all as well. We here we have also VBN. We can connect uh, VBN Azure as well, and we have also Open DNS. This is uh, this is the dynamic the, the, the dynamic name. Of my server, let's check. If I do ping dot soft ether dot net. Uh, it's pinging on my IP version 6. I go here. Uh -huh. As you see, this is my IP address of uh, the server. So this is another chill. What I've done is just installed VPN, soft ether, and enabled the l 2 b over IPsec service in that server. And I have just tested from my Macintosh, and we have the connection opening and running. So, I hope this video has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing. See you next time in a new video. Thank you so much.